Hi, welcome back to my limited view. I was on social media the other day and I came across a positive um, quote. It said, you are complete the way you are. And it, I stopped and kind of started thinking about that. Are we really complete the way we are? Maybe who you are is broken and there's nothing wrong with that, but can you accept that? Maybe you have daddy issues, mommy issues, bad relationships, um, bad childhood, bad upbringing. There's a lot of things that can contribute to us being broken on some level. So I thought in order for me to really accept who I am, I'm gonna first have to give a voice to all those fears and insecurities I have. And again, we all have them. You're not any less than anyone else because your insecurities look a different way. We all have insecurities. It's really beneficial to be able to accept what they are, see what costs them, what triggers them, and then how to move forward from there. And can you be that honest with yourself? Can you look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, I'm a little broken. I mean, in my case, I was engaged and that relationship ended. And years after that, every now and then it would sneak up on me and it would catch me off guard. And I realized at that point, wow, I'm still holding on to something here because it's showing up completely, I mean, talk about unannounced. I had no idea. I was on vacation. I was enjoying myself. And I, for one second, the thought entered my head, oh, what if I was enjoying this with this person? And I thought, whoa, where did that come from? So for me, that just meant that I'm still carrying, or at least at that time, I was still carrying some hurt, some residual pain from that ex entire process, that entire breakup. And I was okay with that. I actually sat, called my ex or exchanged emails, and I said, hey, I thought of you today, and we had an exchange. And after the exchange was done, it was good. But I recognized a long time ago that avoiding whatever hurt or pain I'm feeling um, doesn't ultimately help me. Look, especially for men, we're taught to be strong, boys don't cry, we're the backbone, we're strength. But I think a lot of us tend to confuse strength for armor. I know I did. I, I had such a ex tough exterior to protect myself from, to, in my mind, prevent other people from hurting me. And ultimately, an, a tough armor, a tough exterior is not a sign of strength. Uh, a sign of strength is vulnerability. I remember when I was younger, some of these things prevented me from actually being a participant in this game of life. Um, the fear of not wanting to be hurt, the fear of not being accepted made me sit by the sideline. So how does this show up for you? Now when you sit there and you can accept your hurt, how does it feel to accept that? I don't know about you, but for me it felt great that I didn't have to pretend or, or lie to myself and say, oh no, I'm okay. I recognized, you know what, this hurt me. And this is what this hurt feels like for me. And this is what it looks like. And that was very empowering. Again, that cliche, first step in fixing a problem is accepting you have it. Looking at myself in the mirror and seeing the hurt that I was carrying was so freeing. And I never thought it would be. I thought I was being weak. And the strength that it took for me to do that and the strength it provided was something I never knew could happen by simply me accepting the fact that I was hurt. Now sometimes when you look at the hurt you have, it can be self-inflicted if we are over dramatic um, to a situation, if we overreact. Other times people will actually inflict hurt and pain. Once you can separate your hurt, whether it's self-inflicted or caused by others, you have to ask yourself, how do you want to move past this? Are you moving from a place of love or are you moving from a place of anger? And if you're moving from a place of anger, then you need to step back a little bit more because you haven't really fully accepted whatever it is, whatever hurt you have. And part of that acceptance is also to forgive the individuals. So here are a few tips that that I've actually tried myself to help me get past this. We're gonna make a simple list. Things that are good about you, and on the other side, things you need to improve on. When I say things that are good about you, I'm not talking about your physical appearance, how much money you make, or material things you own. I want you to find traits that are unique to you that make you a good person. Um, 
Are you goal-driven? Are you determined? Are you kind to others? Do you volunteer? Do you have empathy for animals? Do you have empathy for others who are suffering? On the things you want to improve on, careful not to go down a negative path. Again, we're not making a list of things that are wrong with you. We're just making a list of things that are potentially preventing you from fully enjoying life. So let's say you have daddy issues. Okay, I was hurt because my father didn't do this. Or I was hurt because my father did that. So make that list. And then what we're going to do with each one of those is figure out a way to get past them. Again, we're not trying to build an armor of like, oh, I'm going to, you know, show you all the things you did that caused me pain. We don't want that kind of armor. Uh, your armor should be built on vulnerability. You being strong enough to be vulnerable and accept that the things on that side of the list are things that cost you pain and are potentially still causing you pain. Now, as you're making your list on things to improve, one of the identifiers you need to make sure that everything on that list is gonna be beneficial to you is if anything on that list still carries hurt for you, then you wanna put that on there. And you wanna improve on it in the sense that you wanna get past that hurt. Now, you might be able to acknowledge it and recognize it the first time, but you may still need to do some work on it. It's not gonna disappear just because you saw it the first time. You may have to work at it for a bit, so be patient with yourself. As you're making these lists, one of the things you wanna keep in mind is all the answers you're looking for are within you. It's so easy to get distracted with everything in life right now, and we tend to look outwardly for validation or confirmation that what we're doing is correct. And I find through the years that whatever doubt, question I have, if I look inward, I always find the answer. So don't look outward for any confirmation or validation. If you do look outside of yourself, look for inspiration. There's always going to be someone who's a little better, faster, smarter, stronger, better looking, whatever it is. Surround yourself by those people. I don't want to be a shining star in a blackout. I want to be a shining star amongst stars. So if you do look outside, look for inspiration. Inspiration is all around us. It's in music. I mean, music is a huge inspiration for me. Now, as you face all of these things, you are going to get stronger. and but it's not gonna come naturally. At first, it's gonna be a little heavy. You might feel weak or you might feel extra vulnerable. Take your time, build your strength. You want your strength to be based on a strong, solid foundation. Um, you know, don't sit there and be Tarzan and oh, I got this, I can handle this. That's fine for a while, just like affirmations are fine for a while, but at one point, you have to step up. You have to actually be who you say you are. You have you have to actually live your life in the way that you want it to be. So I do believe that we are complete as we are, and that's if we actually know who we are. Unfortunately, the state of the world is not one that nurtures you looking inward and try to recognize who you are and accept those things. Now, when I say accept, I'm not saying be okay with, with the fact that you're hurt, no but recognize that there is hurt. And when you recognize that hurt and accept it, then you can you know, mold it a little bit better, hold it in your hands, what does it feel like, and be there for as long as you need in order for you to get past it. I find that when I am hurt, when I am doubtful, when I am fearful, I just keep asking myself questions. What are you feeling? Why are you hurt? What caused that hurt? How can you heal from this? What would it look like when you're no longer hurting this way? And if you keep asking yourself these questions, you'd be amazed how you have all the answers. And that's why I say don't look outwardly for answers to who you are. Look inward. It's all in there. The more aware you are of yourself, the more you'll be able to pull on these things. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you something to think about. Again, use all of this only in a positive way. Don't, don't go down a negative path. It's not going to help you. Um, so yes, until next time, I hope you're enjoying your view. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video.